Hi, fourth grade. Here we are on page 23 of our SAB. Um, we skipped one page because it is your letter to your parents. You might want to pull this out and give it to them. This is, has just has some great hints, or you can keep it for yourself to use for the hints as well. So we are switching now from adding large numbers to subtracting large numbers. And we're going to be using the word ungroup. You have to hold me um, true to that because sometimes I accidentally say regroup. But ungroup is better because we're taking a number apart. We're undoing a number when we borrow, when we break it down. Okay, so ungrouping step by step. Let's zoom in on this zoomed in number here. They've taken 8,000 and they're subtracting 3,492 from it. So all of these zeros up here, they're showing us, they're reminding us what we do with them. This is something you learned in second grade and you reviewed again in third grade. This zero changes to a 10 because we're taking one 10 away from the tens place. So we cross out the zero and put a 10 there. This zero becomes a 10 because we're taking 10 tens from the hundreds. So 10 tens from the hundreds. If that seems weird, you can just remember that you're putting a one in front of a zero. But we can't leave it that way because remember we took one away for the ones place over here. So we have to change that 10 to a nine. And then over here, we have to change this 10 to a nine because we took one for it from the tens place. And then here we needed to take one from the thousands place to make this zero a 10. So basically you're making all these zeros into tens, but these two have to go down to nines because the place to the right took one away from it. Okay, so look at that really carefully, study it, see if you can make some sense of it in your head. Um, that's ungrouping step by step. That's how I want to see you do it. Some people like to do it more of a shortcut way like this. I'm not a fan of that. I wanna see your work. So I wanna, I wanna see all this all this good stuff. Okay, there is a way that we are going to learn to ungroup, and it is going to be from right to left. So you'll see they have an example of left to right here. We're going to learn from right to left. We're always going to start in the ones place because that's what we're used to doing when we're doing other types of problems like this. So in the ones place, five minus seven. 5 minus 7 is not possible, so I have to change the 5 to a 15. This 2 becomes a 1 because I have taken from the 10s, and I got 10 plus 5 is 15, so the 2 became a 1. Now, 1 plus 8 is not possible, so I have to put a 1 in front of that 1 to make it an 11. And that, where did it come from? Oh yeah, it came from over there on the left the hundreds place, so that six became a five. Now, that five has to become a 15 because five minus nine is not possible. So it has to change to a 15. Where did it get that 10 plus five? From the thousands place, 10 hundreds came over. So this four becomes a three. And then you can just subtract them. So as you're going through some of these practice problems today, really be careful, make sure that you're ungrouping from right to left and that you're showing all of your steps okay I'm gonna do number nine um, together please follow along in your book and do it with me two minus eight is that possible no we can't do two minus eight so we're gonna cross out the two and cross out the six the two becomes a 12 because we put a one in front of that two this six that we crossed out has to go down to a five because we took one away from it all right, this five now, five minus seven is not possible, so five becomes a 15. Four goes down to a three. Three minus six is not possible, so the three becomes a 13. Take one away from the nine because we borrowed from it. Nine becomes an eight. Now, what do you think I'm about to say? What do you think I want you to do these problems on? Line paper, you would be right. So. As you're doing the problems, make sure you're on line paper. This is too squishy. We're gonna use line paper just like with the adding. Oh wow, there are a lot of problems on here. I would like you to choose five of them from this, from this top part of the page, any five you want, and complete them. 
I'm going to do number 11. And I'm going to show you how I want you to do it in the lines. Stay in your lane, folks. Okay, is 2 minus 9 possible? No, it's not. Cross out the 2, make it a 12. I have to borrow, but there's nothing in the tens place to borrow, so I have to go further to the hundreds place, and the tens will borrow from the hundreds. So that 5 has to go down to a 4, because I borrowed that over here to make this 0 a 10. But don't forget, I still need to make this 2 a 12, so I change that 10 to a 9, and then now, I probably should have waited to write the 12 over the 2. There it is. 12 minus 9 is possible. 9 minus 4 is possible. 4 minus 7 is not possible. Once again, crossing out the 4, changing it to a 14, because we're going over to the thousands place and taking one away, changing the 8 to a 7. So now you can see that there's a lot more space when I have them lined up this way on my lined paper. How many did I say? I think four, right? So do four in this section, and then make sure you do both of the word problems. Make sure that you are answering the question fully and putting in a label. Let me know if you have any questions. This skill is something that you've known for a couple years, but it always is really tricky. So take your time with it, um, and really go back and watch this video again if you have to, to see all those steps um, a little more slowly. Thanks, fourth graders.